2500 years ago, there was a Greek mathematician whose name was Pythagoras. Pythagoras was fascinated by right angle triangles and wanted to find out all about them. Let's recall what a right angle triangle is. In a right angle triangle, one of the angles is 90 degrees. The horizontal side of this triangle is called the base, while the vertical side is called the perpendicular. The side opposite the right angle is always called the hypotenuse. Here, you can see that the hypotenuse is the longest side of the triangle. Do you think this is true for all right angle triangles? We shall see. Can you guess which side is the hypotenuse for this right angle triangle? Pause this video and take some time to think. You're right, this is the hypotenuse, since this is the side opposite the right angle. But what about the base and the perpendicular? If you rotate the right angle triangle this way, this side will be called the base and that side will be called the perpendicular. Now, rotate the triangle one more time. This side will be called the base and that side will become the perpendicular. So it's really all about which side the triangle stands on. This is why the vertical side or the perpendicular is also sometimes called the altitude of the triangle. Altitude is just a fancy name for the height of the triangle. Notice that, unlike the base and the perpendicular, the hypotenuse of the triangle doesn't change, no matter which way the right angle triangle stands. During his study, Pythagoras realized something amazing. In all right angle triangles, the square of the hypotenuse was always equal to the square of the base added to the square of the perpendicular. In other words, in a right angle triangle, the square of the longest side is equal to the sum of the squares of the two shorter sides. How did Pythagoras prove this? By drawing squares on all three sides of a right angle triangle. Let's take a closer look at this proof. Consider a right angle triangle with the base of 3 cm, a perpendicular of 4 cm, and a hypotenuse of 5 cm. If we draw a square at the hypotenuse, its area will be length times length, or 5 cm times 5 cm, which is equal to 25 square centimeters. Drawing a square at the base will give us a square with an area of 3 cm times 3 cm, which is equal to 9 square centimeters. Lastly, drawing a third square at the perpendicular will give us a square with an area of 4 cm times 4 cm, which is equal to 16 square centimeters. Now that we know the areas of the squares at each side, we can check if the Pythagoras theorem holds true. The area of the square at the hypotenuse is 25 square centimeters. Is this equal to the total area of the other two squares? Adding the area of the square at the base, 9 square centimeters, to the area of the square at the perpendicular, 16 square centimeters, we get 25 square centimeters. And this is exactly equal to the square at the hypotenuse. Hence, this visually proves that the square of the hypotenuse is equal to the square of the base plus the square of the perpendicular. Pythagoras realized that this was always true, no matter the size of the right angle triangle. Since this rule was discovered by Pythagoras, it is now known as the famous Pythagoras theorem. Time for an exercise. Let's see if we can prove the Pythagoras theorem for another right angle triangle. 
The square of the base, BC, will be 1.2 cm squared, which is equal to 1.44 square centimeters. The square of the perpendicular AC will be 1.6 cm squared, which is equal to 2.56 square centimeters. The square of the hypotenuse AB will be 2 cm squared, which is equal to 4 square centimeters. We want to prove the Pythagoras theorem, which states that the square of the hypotenuse is equal to the sum of the squares of the base and perpendicular. We can see that 4 square centimeters is equal to 1.44 square centimeters plus 2.56 square centimeters. Hence, since the left hand side is equal to the right hand side, we have proved the Pythagoras theorem for this triangle. Good job! Let's summarize. The Pythagoras theorem states that in a right angle triangle, the square of the hypotenuse is equal to the sum of the square of the base and the square of the perpendicular. In other words, the square of the longest side is equal to the sum of the squares of the other two shorter sides. The Pythagoras theorem holds true for all right angle triangles, no matter what the size of the triangle is.